taking off the headset, getting ready to go to bed. My brother and his lovely fiance and their baby are hopefully all sound asleep now. It's almost four in the morning on Friday, the second. Actually, it's the third of it's the third of June, the third of June, and that's a special day. Um, I did a little writing today while uh, my brother and my friend were playing some video games. And um, this, I know I've written uh, a lot of notes to Tom, but this is not Tom, um, the director of my institute. This is Tom, who is the father of a friend of mine, uh, a friend of mine that passed away one year ago today. Um, her name is Rebecca. And um, small world, Tom lives on a street called Ledgeview in the town of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And my best friend from high school uh, lives on that street. And I've been on that street probably uh, a dozen times in the last couple of years. And uh, never knew that just a little bit further down the road was uh, Becca's dad. It's a small world. and. Another one of those little miracles that makes you realize that we are all one family and things do happen for a reason. Um, it's been a kind of another double sad day today because another co-worker of mine at Winnebago Mental Health um, passed away. I don't know if it was today or yesterday, but uh, Janice, a friend of mine that I worked with for several years on the children's unit, Apparently also passed away. Uh, I don't know if it was today. I just saw I just saw a report about it on the internet. So kind of a kind of an interesting day. Um, I've decided to stay another night over at my brother's. I'm shutting down my computer now, and I'll pick this up uh, a little bit later on. My friend Brian has lent me some shoes. I realize I can't really go to work wearing these uh, Jesus sandals. So, being the good friend he is, uh, he lent me a pair of shoes to wear so I can go to work tomorrow. But, um, oh, I think I'm going to head to bed and turn the lights off. No. I don't know if my brother would be upset that I'm videotaping in his domicile, but his place is pretty neat. Uh, now I'm going to head to the spare bedroom. Now, uh, not many people have a uh, purple minivan as, as the guest room, but uh, I don't know how many nights I've slept over at my brother's house in the in the quiet solace and comfort of the back of Honor One. Now I am gonna have to do a little reorganizing because I've kind of hidden my Xbox loot under the blankets and I don't feel like snuggling up, cuddling with a Xbox 360 as I drift off to Dreamland, but um I'm not really that tired, considering it's almost four in the morning, but um, I have a lot of thinking to do, and uh, it's always hard for me to come off of these video game filled days with friends, and then kind of get back into um, the mode that I find myself in all the time, which is, uh, you know... Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing mode? I think that playing video games with my brother and my friend Brian are very important. I mean, we smile and we laugh and we have a good time, but um, I think a little bit of quiet contemplation under the orange blankets in the back of Honor One. I'm thinking about uh, my friend Rebecca and... <clears throat> I'd, uh, I almost wish that I was at home right now because then I could be, uh, showing the picture of Rebecca's tree that's, uh, on my nightstand. 
and I wrote in the message to uh, Rebecca's father of how she was the photographer. She was always the one with the camera, but she never, 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 never let me take her picture. So all I have to remind, remind myself of her is uh, a tiny little picture about this big that's on my refrigerator that was on um, a little pamphlet that was at her funeral service. And I also, um, when I had permission to have the camera at Winnebago, I went in and I took video footage of a picture that was on the employee, uh, there was an employee uh, collage of pictures from a picnic that the company held several years ago when she was bright and smiling and, and as beautiful as a beautiful woman can be. Um, so it's a rough night losing two co-workers, one uh, a year ago today and, and uh, another one today or yesterday when uh when 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 janice passed i don't know but uh, uh losing people is hard it's hard and um it's very hard to keep people alive seriously but m without just doing it in a token way like i feel it's very important you know, people are, everybody's going to die. That's, that's, there's no doubt about that. But Becca was such a talented photographer and a beautiful person and, and saw the world in such a unique and unique and imaginative way. It's uh, a real pity that she's not here to keep making the world a better place like she was. And um, I feel responsible uh, to make sure that her memory lives on and I'm, and now I'm gonna have to think long and hard about uh, Janice too I mean it's um, losing people isn't fun losing people isn't fun but it's part of life so life is not all fun and games all right I'm gonna hit the sack I got a long week of work ahead of me I signed up for tons of overtime even though I did pay for my 360 I got other things that I need to, to spend money on frivolously, including more of these little cameras. Because I think if I put these cameras into more able-bodied hands, able-bodied hearts, and able-bodied minds, that the world could definitely be a better place. I wish with all my heart that uh, I had given one of these cameras to Becca and given one of these uh, cameras to Janice. So they could have made a video or two or three to leave behind for the world because not everybody's gonna get to see their face in this life and no one's gonna and not everybody's gonna get to you know hear their ideas and their dreams and um, that's a shame but uh, hopefully we can uh, live out those dreams for them. We'll see what the future holds.